Should we give him a rundown, Leo? Prototype design right this here. This will help us uh, and frame it in our mind as well. Okay, we're doing a labyrinth today. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we'll give you a, we're just gonna give you a quick um, tutorial on um, labyrinth building. Cool. This right here has already been designed, if you can take a look at that. Uh -huh. But we'll first start with, we're gonna walk out to the lake. We're gonna kind of form a an X to begin with. So these are gonna be, the, the center of the labyrinth is gonna be like this. And these are gonna be the, the center most wall section of okay. the labyrinth. From here, you take the top part of this X and you join it. And actually this part you can do, Carl, in a, in a weird way. You can actually create this in kind of a loop like this mm -hmm. to create it like a little sitting area. So it's, it's like that. And then you, then each corner gets connected with the opposite side like this. We just forgot the dots. Oh, yeah. That's okay. But that's oh, the wow. general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The general idea. Cool. And it'll be like that. So when we go, the wall will be about the width of two boots wide. Okay. And then the path will be a shovel wide. Ah. So we'll shovel the path out onto where our foot marks were to create a wall and then we're gonna pack it in. Okay. It's so interesting when you walk through a labyrinth, it, you, you almost become lost in it. You ever been in one of these? Even without walls? No, even without walls, you just kind of walk and you let your mind sort of meander while you're walking. It's a mindfulness activity. It's really, it's really peaceful, it's yeah. neat. Awesome. I've heard too with, with labyrinths, often if you have a sort of a problem you're mulling over, yeah. often if you, you want to mull it over and focus on that or whatever it is, you walk through a labyrinth and by the time you come back out of the labyrinth, typically you've come to some sort of a resolution, solution, or you have a better understanding of that problem. Yep, I've heard, I've that. heard that too. Let's get this labyrinth started. How's your first time walking on ice? You don't like think about it too much and then you realize how like deep it is under where you are. It's not too bad. Yeah. Every once in a while it breaks. Yeah, don't do that too much. And your foot drops about six inches. <laughs> Freaks you out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! But there's another layer of ice down there, so it's all good. This is such good melty snow. <laughs> Nature slurpy. <laughs> Wait, let's make it quick. It's like a slurpy, but no sugar. This maze is coming together really well. Okay. Wow. The therapy begins. Start walking Can it. Clean up the walls or what? This, I don't even boots? think we need to. Leo's got the stone here for the contemplation area. Looks cozy. So when you sit on that, you'll fall right through. Right through the... No way. Nice. If one person walk through this on their own, uh -huh. and, then, and then just like come here and sit, oh yeah, that's the way to do it. to be able to sit in the middle of the lake and not be in a boat rocking back and forth. To just listen to the sounds around you. It's nice.
We're all kind of in the zone here now. We walked the labyrinth. We're feeling good. How are you guys feeling? Ah, uh, really good. It's the post it's labyrinth nice. interview. It's good. That was the first first labyrinth I've ever built. Uh, really happy with it. It's kind of cool. It's fun. Fun. It was really fun building it and and then being able to walk it after it was cool. But building it was almost the uh, the same as walking it in some way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Really? Yeah. It's like like a, you really felt that. Yeah. I felt. Oh, I mean, it's true. like a. It is kind of like a meditation when you're building it. Also, that's how it feels to me. Yeah. When you're building it, you just start to get really relaxed. Start to connect with your body a little bit. I I enjoyed it. I really enjoy it. It's very like peaceful. Yeah. It's like I find building it, you're going through all the same motions constantly, but you're like doing something repetitive the whole time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of walking through repetitive. It's kind of like raking one of the, what, what are those called? Those large, the oh, Japanese yeah. gardens? Oh yeah, those, yeah. Forget what those are called. That's very meditative, very soothing. Yeah. Right? I think the, like at least my mind, I don't know what you guys, but I feel like my mind is constantly racing. And when, uh -huh. I mean, not even like at a conscience level, but like when I, I do things like that, it just sort of, brings me it continue like especially in in the labyrinth you're forced to be present you're forced to like not think ahead you're just like one foot in the front of the head other oh look at here's a turn i gotta navigate it's so simple yeah you know you're not thinking about so many complex thoughts you're just like how do i gotta turn my body to go around this corner like that right and then you're, if you continually focus your mind like that like for me i notice i more and more as i walk it less and less other thoughts it's more mm. about like how do i get around this labyrinth mm -hmm. to move my body properly right That's, i was like somehow fixated on that thought like i wonder how long that little connection will be that next little path mm. Mm -hmm. so. it's interesting to to like to map kind of think about where your mind kind of follows hey yeah it goes, it goes when you're in there it's like your mind starts to go into like different rabbit holes right right it's fascinating it's crazy that a little path like that can do that to you yeah well you, your body and your mind are so connected like yeah. movement it starts to stir up like all the different things in your body it's mm. this is the memories of your body from thousands of years ago <laughs> they, they connect with everything else That's so those thoughts become everything and then you you are everything at the end of that uh -huh. absolutely so the, the thoughts become you and you become the thoughts from the labyrinth the labyrinth the labyrinth is you that's the that's the great thing about it it's profound we we, we start we all we're talking about the labyrinth being out there the but real labyrinth is here within you that's what we learned today the labyrinth is within you the labyrinth is within you you, you did all this work for nothing <laughs> So that was that and this is this so what's now <laughs> what's now now we go warm up yeah, with, yeah. Uh, we maybe drink some coffee have a snack let's do it play some Catan. well thank you so much guys for building that whoa yeah, yeah thanks it snows thanks, so deep thanks for yeah. having us and allowing us to build it mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun I'd like to thank the the snow for being there for us to make a pass uh-huh yeah it's good thanks yeah. for thanking them for that I wanted one one thing. Are you finished thinking? That's one more comment before you finish your thinking. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I have one more comment. I just want to say yeah. that there may be sometimes we've built these in the past in aliens land. Oh yeah, yeah. They they're kind of like crop circles a bit, right? Yeah, they sometimes miss recognize them for 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 landing zones. So tonight, look out for bright lights, everybody. So yeah. that, that could be a problem. Yeah, but. And it, I want to thank our great leader, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, yeah, thank you for, thank you. Yeah, that's good that we're talking about him.